I couldn't resist a night out, and I got I got asked on a night out by this guy. Yeah, we're out here. Hey, what's up? This is laid back Luke, DJ and producer. I just took one, two, three flights out to France, and I'm not there yet. looking for mountains. I was gonna point out to the mountains, but where we need to go next is up the mountains because that's where Tomorrowland winter is. Let's go. Currently looking for my ride, but I'm assuming that's not it. Um, there it is. Caught a nap to our drive up the mountain. Anna was with me in the car. Hi, Anna. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. It's oh. funny though because it's Tomorrowland oh. winter, and it's more like Tomorrowland summer. Look at the no snow on the ground and everything. Let's check out the hotel. Winter cottage. One bedroom. Two bedroom. Bathroom. And there's a like a common area. Can't miss it. Tomorrowland paper on the table. Let's have a look outside. There we go. I only have 15 minutes to get ready for show number one, and I have no clue how this will go down. Like, I'm in a tent or something. All right, take you with me. I thought I was getting dropped off at the stage, but apparently I need to take the ski lift up the stage. It's gonna be all the way up top of the stage. But I'm wearing my fancy oh. uh, skiing glasses. Quite the experience going up a ski lift. And then we're supposed to go there. Just came off of the decks playing even without jacket. It was no problem. I had a great time uh, during my set. The crowd was incredible. So good to see the Tomorrowland crowd out here on the mountains. Next stop, I'm gonna get some food and then I'm gonna go out to the radio. This is the restaurant area. I'm sitting here with Belgium royalty. <laughs> hey, Belgium. Evie, yes. we got the wives going on. We're gonna have some food and gezellig, as we say in Dutch. Always good to catch up with the One World Radio people. Tomorrow we're doing something special with One World Radio. We just spoke about it outside over here. I'm excited to show you. As we go into the night, I'll probably catch up on a bit of sleep because it's been a long, long travel. I couldn't resist a night out, and I got I got asked on a night out by this guy. Yeah, we're out here. It's Sonnery. It's Ryan. What up? What's up, Luke? Yeah, just hanging out, seeing what's going on. Showing in my yeah. studios. <laughs> this is the Afrojack Shack. How about that? Afrojack. Nice. That was a proper backstage uh, session last night. Listening to James Hype, listening to Sonnery James and Ryan Marciano, hanging with MC Stretch, shout out to Anime as well, and then meeting up with Afrojack as well. It was as if we had a podcast there backstage. Axel came in as well, did see Martin Garrix as well. It was all fun. And now it's just really, really early. It is currently 4 a.m. in New York. It's 9 a.m. out here in the Alps. I'm <laughs> in my t-shirt, isn't it crazy? Today I'm actually going on the ski lifts and doing interviews for my Wayback Luke show. I'm excited to meet with all these artists and, and just have lovely morning chats. Oh, those interviews were awesome. We got food in the ski lifts as well, which was amazing as well. And I can't wait for you guys to catch this. Cablecast is called Tomorrowland One World Radio. Should be online very soon. Excited for you to see it. And right now I'm walking into the ski shop because I'm going to rent some snowboard gear right now because I'm going... Yeah. Up the mountain. I'm on top of a mountain looking like a little Lego puppet uh, with sunglasses on. I'm about to ascend here. Super excited about that. It's been a while since I snowboarded. Can't wait to go down. So thankful I'm here 
And shout out to Tomorrowland for having all of these nooks and crannies where DJs are playing with incredible view. And I get to snowboard a little as well. All right, I'm gonna go down. Let's see how this goes. It's no problem. It's like riding a bike. Such a good day out on the slopes. And it's funny, I just woke up from an epic, epic nap, which I needed. And I've been doing work in my hotel room thinking, whoever's playing outside does a tremendous job. It's someone random on their balcony. The new crowd gathering in fun. And it sounds amazing. Whoever you were. And you've been DJing for hours. You need an actual stage. Back to the interview room. Doing an interview with Adam K. Gurley. Hey. Uh, so always a pleasure at One World Radio, always a pleasure to speak to Adam K. What a legend. The mystery of the DJ on the balcony has been solved tonight. The people from One World Radio told me who it was and listen to this. This was like Mike playing on the balcony and furthermore he was back to back with Kolsch and Afrojack. Just wanted to get some gear out and play outside. Wow, I really enjoyed that. Way to go, Mike. Amazing stuff. It is the next morning out at Tomorrowland Winter, and although it's show day, it kind of feels like a rest day because last night was a little bit crazy. I hopped on stage with Steve Aoki, had a great catch up with W&W &W and Rehab. Then I went to the after party after everything was finished at the Igloo, and I played a little back-to-back -back set there as well. So it was a little late, but tons of fun. And this morning I just spent prepping my set for tonight, dragging and dropping files from my old Denon library onto my phone setup, getting ready for tonight for my main stage set. And what also gets me ready is these amazing, authentic French chocolate croissants. These are the best you can get in the whole wide world when it comes to chocolate croissants. Yeah, those are really good. Basically, the dragging and dropping of the tracks is the only prep I'll do because I have no clue what I'll encounter over there. It's going to be a long scent, two hours and 15 minutes, opening up the stage, setting the mood. Don't know how much crowd there is when it starts. Don't know what the energy is like when I play. And so I'll just go with the flow and I'm excited to go in in a little bit. Did a quick little workout, stuffed myself with some food real quick, and now it's rushing out to the stage. I'm super excited to get going. Last night, Tomorrowland, winter main stage, here we go. Whoa, here we are. Without crowd, look at that. Woo. Gotta love Tomorrowland and all, all their special things. Look at this right here. Every edition, we have something special for the artist. I love it. I'll wear it with pride. Thank you. Perfect. Oh, in the transport back. Such a big stage. I really enjoyed it. it. It kind of felt like hard work for me because I was kind of warming up the crowd, but I love warming up the crowd. Set the atmosphere tonight. Set the atmosphere as well. Uh, DJing disco in the backstage area was awesome. And I just want to give a shout out to Tomorrowland for the amazing hospitality, for the amazing care, and for the incredible times and this opportunity to be here and DJ here. It's time to go down the mountain right now. It's only been like one and a half hours since I got off stage, straight out to the airport. The next stop, Miami. We ain't slowing down. Miami Beach, I'm here. It was a long, long travel, and I can't lie, it's a little bit of a culture shock going from the cold which wasn't too, too cold, but into the really warm. I am super grateful though. Time to get into my room and then get ready for Ultra Music Festival. All right, we're outside. The sun is setting and I'm saying we because I'm here with Daniel Groundland who's shooting footage for me today. We're about to get on a boat out to Ultra. And we have a special guest, Gian Varela is joining me on stage today because I made this track our collab. Hit it back, I finished it, it's done, we're gonna perform it here at Ultra and we're gonna go by boat. All right, here it is. The so boat guys, welcome. out to Ultra. Let's go. Come on, 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 come on,
course, I'm in the back of a golf cart, and I just uh, had an impromptu DJ set on this big ship, which I love. I love DJing. Yeah, let's see what we're going to do next. It is the next morning out in South Beach, Miami. Yesterday was a late one. We ended up going to M2 to check out Carl Cox's party. And overall, this week has just felt like old fashioned and good after partying and hanging out and meeting up. And it's been great, to be honest. Got to give a big shout out to Wall Records and Afrojack for having me on that ultra stage last night. It was so good to be back. It felt like the set of the week to me. I still have one more set to go, but before we go into that today, I'm gonna go into a little bit of a kung fu training before starting the day off. Oh, it's so warm out. We're out at the park here with Gian and Manny Sapra, and we're gonna go into our kung fu session right now. Really good meeting with JM just now. We got ready for the show and now I'm gonna try and do something new because the traffic is crazy. Ubers are almost impossible to get. So I'm gonna do the Dutch thing and I'm gonna do this. Not typically the superstar DJ type of travel, but it's an easy and cheap and fast way and I'm really enjoying this. How about that? Next stop, it's gonna be the show. Said, wow, that big thanks to Galantis for having me out. It was incredible to play a pool party. I love playing pool parties here. I love playing in Miami in general. So officially the shows are over, but there's one more night left in this week. And I'm excited to take you with me. First stop is Story, because supposedly Steve Angelo and Sebin Grosso are there, and I'm gonna take you with them. It is only a few hours later that I am going back to New York. This is a goodbye to this amazing week I had out in the snow, out in the sun, out with all these DJs and parties. Happy I went out tonight. I caught up with Steve Angelo. It was awesome to see Angelo and Engrosso play. If you like this vlog, make sure to give me a like right now. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well. I'm excited for next year already. This has been incredible. Thank you for tuning in. Catch you back here for the next one. Till then, hell's up.